Hello, Stevie's. It's that time of year again. We've got uh, we've got this bike on the lift, and we're gonna start cleaning them up for the winter. Miss Stevie got a bike cover for Christmas from somebody. I don't know who. I don't know. Santa. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna clean this up. We got something special in the mail. You want to open it? Sure. We actually got a couple kits of this. It says right there. That Better? serves a purpose. Those are cool cards. So we got... Um, Smile. <laughs> we got some ceramic coat from... Armor Shield? Armor Shield. <laughs> yes, Armor Shield. Was recommended to us by a friend of ours. Which you do get a discount if you go through his website or through his videos. A guy you guys might know named Do It With Dan. That's the bottle. This is supposed to do a whole car, so we shouldn't have a problem doing a bike. But we got two for the price of one, and then mm -hmm. we got one thrown in. So, okay. And it comes with all the stuff to do it. But first, we need to clean this up, which... What are we going to use to clean it up? Norwex. And then we're going to clay bar it. And then we're going to put this ceramic coat on it. And then what are we going to do? We're going to do your bike. Oh. <laughs> Very dusty. Yeah, you can see that there. Not for long. Not for long. We're going to get it all cleaned up. Okay, so we've got the bike pretty much cleaned up, um, except for behind the saddlebags, but we're taking the saddlebags off. And I don't have the regular twist pins in my saddlebags. I have the Law Abiding Biker Rick Rack um, studs, basically. And they're so easy to use that we're gonna let Miss Stevie do it. Now, it's not as quick as the twist pins, but what it does do is it actually holds your saddlebag on. So your saddlebag doesn't fall off when you're riding down the road. Because I've actually had it where I've opened up the saddlebags and those twist pins have been out. Crazy, huh? And it wasn't too long ago we were up in Sturgis, right, up in Rapid City actually, and somebody we knew had different kind of twist pins. And theirs were hanging out in their saddlebag also. I won't name who that was. Me neither. I won't, I won't name any names at all. No names of who that was. Okay, so you want to just let them fall? Inside? Yep, just let them fall inside. Now let the saddlebag close. Now close it. Now just lift it off. Easy peasy. So, Miss Steve, we have done the washing. We have done the clay barring. Now we've got to do the alcohol in and then we will be getting to the ceramic coating so this is your application sponge and then you take the ceramic coat and you dab it onto your onto your sponge so now what are you doing I'm applying the ceramic coat if we're doing it right do not know I read the directions <laughs> we have rubbed these with alcohol and we've done all the prep work so we're gonna get the saddlebags done we've done the side covers already this is our New Year's Day project that's how we roll and there it is Oh, you're about to turn the lights back on. <laughs> They're not gonna be able. I I am so impressed. Unreal. So the armor shield is that armor king is who we got the uh, armor shield. Armor shield. I think I saw somewhere it said armor king on there too, but armor shield guys. I can't, it's like, 
I don't know if this will come across on film, but I mean, there's like a, like you can see like a candy coating on there, can't you? Yes. It's, it's just, it's unbelievable. As you put it on, okay, so you, you put it on, what do they call it? So you, you put the, the ceramic coat on and then you wait for it to flash, which means that it almost looks iridescent. It's like a, it looks like there's oil on it. Like you can see the rainbow effect. And then when you wipe it off, as you're wiping that off, I mean, the shine that you see is just, it's unreal, isn't it? Yes. It's going to be awesome when I do my bike. Look at that primary. <laughs> it's unreal. It's unreal. It's, it's worth every penny. So go check it out. Like I said, go through, do it with Dan's video, and then you get like a huge discount. Hello, Stevies. We're back in the garage again because this time we're going to ceramic coat Miss Stevie's bike. This one's going to shine just as much. It's white, so you know how well that's going to pick up on camera, but yeah. But it's going to, man, it's going to look so good. It already looks so good. But I got to clean it up first, so we'll get on that. All right, we got the bike all cleaned up. And now it's time for the clay barn. And I got some help. Nora. Nora. Shh. Hey. Hey. I got some help from her. And I got some help from her. She likes to pose. Stevie. Stevie. You good girl? Oh, no. She just wants to get closer. And they're very jealous of each other too. So that's, that makes it a ton of fun. I know I've done a video on clay barn before, but do another quick tidbit here so with your clay bar kit you usually get I just got Meguiar's clay bar because that's what I've always used you get a quick detailer and you get the clay bar <clears throat> you take the quick detailer and you spray it on the surface that you want a clay bar and then you take your clay bar form it to that surface a little bit by pushing down on it and then you just run it over it and this removes any imperfections in the clear coat and you can feel the difference in the clay bar as you're going along pretty pretty cool stuff look at that dirty 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 all right we've got the whole bike clay barred washed now what we need to do is we need to run over it with some alcohol to get all the oils off of it, all the imperfections off of it. And then we can start putting on the ceramic coat. And my helpers are being really helpful. Thanks guys. Oh man. It, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. This is hands down one of the prettiest bikes I've ever seen. It has been washed, clay barred, and rubbed down with alcohol. And now it's time for the ceramic coat. So Miss Stevie came out. And she is ceramic coating her own bike. Look at that. I don't know if it'll come through on the camera or not. But after it's ceramic coated, there's just... It is just so pretty. Speaking of pretty, look at that. <laughs> so this has been washed, clay barred, polished, alcohol rubbed, and loved. ceramic coated. And loved. loved. And loved. <laughs> Lots of TLC in this garage. Can't stop petting it. So this is my bike and it is done already. Look how pretty. So on the saddlebag here, I'm gonna have Miss Stevie spray it with water so we can see if it's ceramic coating, if we did it right. That's so cool. So cool. It works. So there's no more real washing your bike anymore. It's just 
hosing it off. So that's what the ceramic coating will do, because this is cured, so this has been done for over 48, this has been done for about 36 hours. My Stevie's bike just got done. But that's what it'll be like. Just. So we haven't really done much riding, because it's 17 degrees outside right now. But riding videos will come as soon as we can. Other than that, you're gonna, we're gonna have some more in the shop videos. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. Until next time, everybody stay cool, and we'll see you in the next one.